Hello and welcome to Dentrix Does It. In this video, I'll show you all about the aging report. An aging report displays totals and payments for each account and tells you how old each of those balances are. The report can be prepared for selected guarantors, providers, and billing types. Included on the aging report is the guarantor's name, home phone number, billing type, last payment amount, last statement date, agreed payment amount, and balances per aging period, insurance estimates, guarantor portion estimate, and total account balance. To generate an aging report, from the Office Manager, select Reports, Ledger, then Aging Report. In the Select Report Types group box, change the type of report you want to print, standard aging, credit balances, and or provider credits. This video will focus for the most part on the standard aging reports, though I will touch on the others as we go along. The report date is printed at the top of the report as a reference for when the report was ran. The default is the current date and you typically do not need to change this. If you want to limit alphabetically the range of guarantors included on the report, Click the search button next to From and select the first alphabetical guarantor for the range and choose the search button next to To and select the last alphabetical guarantor. Or leave All in both fields to include all guarantors. In the Select Primary Provider group box, to select the range of primary providers, that is Provider 1 as listed in the family file, click the search buttons next to From and select the starting provider for the range and the search button next to To and select the ending provider. Or leave All selected in both fields to include all primary providers. Let's deal with a common misunderstanding at this point. The Provider filter only looks at the head of household's assigned provider it does not sort the report out by the providers who actually performed work for the patients. For example, if my head of house shows DDS1 as his provider, but the patients within the family have had work performed by this doctor, the orthodontist, and two different hygienists. The aging report, when including DDS1 as a selected provider, will report the entire balance for the family including the amount of money performed by other providers. If you would like to show a provider balance total for each provider on your aging report, you can do so by opening Office Manager, Maintenance, Practice Setup, Preferences. Select the Print Options tab and check Print Provider Balances for Aging Report. Then run the standard aging report as normal. In the Select Billing Type group box, to select the range of billing types you want to include, use the search buttons to select the starting and ending billing type range. Or leave All selected in both fields to include all billing types. Enter the minimum balance in the Minimum Balance to Print text field. If you leave All, credit balances will also print on the standard aging report. If only debit balances are wanted for the aging report, enter 0.01 as the minimum balance to print. If only accounts with a balance over a certain amount are wanted, use that amount. Speaking of credits, because credits do not age, credits are always shown as part of the current column on the standard aging report. Be aware of this when you're looking at the grand totals of the report. The current column includes the credits. If you are interested in focusing on patients with a credit balance, you might choose to use the Credit Balances Report instead of the Standard Aging Report. The Credit Balances Report will include accounts with a credit balance and with the guarantor, provider, or billing type ranges you select. If you want to limit the report to accounts that have not made a payment recently, enter the last payment date in the Last Payment Before text field. If you enter Current, all accounts will be considered regardless of the last time they made a payment. 
The last payment before date can be used to exclude accounts that have made a payment recently. Example, if the date is for the prior month, any accounts that have a guarantor payment for that prior month will be excluded from the aging report. Insurance payments are not considered as part of this last payment before. This is exclusively for patient payments. You can see the last payment amount and date at the bottom of each ledger. To only include accounts with an aged balance over 0, 30, 60, or 90 days, mark the minimum days past due. For example, if you only want accounts with a balance over 60 days to print on the aging report, select Over 60. Accounts with a balanced aged over 60 and or over 90 days would be the only accounts printed. Though, keep in mind, some of these accounts may also have finance charges or other charges that are current or 30 days old. And that's okay mathematically. What we're ensuring here is that they have a, at least some of their balance over 60 or over 90. Also keep in mind that if you are not current in closing the months, the aging has not properly taken place within the ledgers and it will not be accurate on the aging report. You'll find the option to close the month within Ledger, Month End, using either the Month End Update or the Month End Wizard. These processes should be ran at the beginning of each new month. If you are not current in closing your months, you may still obtain a standard aging report with accurate aging by checking the box Calculate Age Balance As Of and enter today's date. If this option is checked, it may take longer to generate the aging report and insurance estimates and patient portion columns will not be displayed on that report. In the Sort Options group box, mark how you want the accounts to sort on the report by guarantor name, by over 90 to current balance, or by largest to smallest balance. If you have entered guarantor's notes in the ledger, you may include them on the report by checking Print Guarantor Note. If there is not a guarantor note attached in the ledger, the first line of the guarantor's patient note will be included. If you are looking for an historical report, for example, you'd like to know what the patient balances were as of the end of the year, you can calculate each age balance by a certain date. Check Calculate Age Balance As Of, and then enter the desired date. If this option is checked, it may take longer to generate the aging report since Dentrix will recalculate each balance as of the date entered, and insurance estimates and patient portion columns will not be displayed on such a report. Check Print to File to save the report as a tab delimited file, which can then be easily opened within a spreadsheet application. The reports will be saved in the Exports folder, located in the Doc directory on your server. If you are unsure where this folder is, open Office Manager, Maintenance, Practice Setup, Preferences. Choose the Paths tab. The letter template path will be displayed. In Dentrix G5 or newer, you will also see an Open button, which when pressed will take you right to the folder. Open the Exports folder and find your file. As alluded to earlier, the Credit Balances report will include accounts with a credit balance. Of the options shown, this report will only use the guarantor, provider, and billing type ranges. The Provider Credits report will list all accounts where at least one provider has received more money than they have performed in work. This can happen if payments have been incorrectly applied. The report is especially useful if you are looking for accounts where you need to make adjustments to even out those payment mistakes of the past. And that's how Dentrix does it. For more tips and training, please visit the Online Resource Center.